Yeah. Um, but if you go private, it's going to cost you a few thousand quid. A few thousand quid, so maybe yeah. so like three thousand bucks or something. Yeah, but it, and it depends on how many how many procedures you will need. This is what happens. I mean, I've got about uh, maybe three, four, five. I mean, six spots. I'm yeah. Scottish after all, you know. Yeah. We're very frugal. You guys are known for that. I mean, it's. Uh... <laughs> And the Irish are not, which I'm Irish, so we're known to be, <laughs> spend all our money. On alcohol, I'll tell you. We don't want to fight when, yeah. we're, when we're sober, right? So we have to drink <laughs> yeah, the beer course. first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't... Uh... So, so this is Dan of Vagabond Awake, and we have our good friend Gary uh, in Thailand, and he's uh, here to report what's going on in his life. Welcome to the channel, Gary. So how are things going, Gary? Yeah, pretty good, uh, considering that uh, I'm going to head back to the UK for a little while. Uh, I've been diagnosed with skin cancer here. Uh, and I don't want to pay the, the rates here. It's pretty expensive. And, of course, as you know, I don't have medical insurance because that's equally as expensive. Right. So it's a case of what's more expensive, the treatment or the actual policy, you know. Yeah. So it's it's a pretty balance. You know, the, the treatment's expensive, but the policy is expensive as well. So right. I'm just going to head back to the UK for a little while. Um, the good thing is I'll go and see my dad as well, right. who's, uh, who's still alive and kicking. Um, mm -hmm. And in the meantime... And in the meantime, I'm going to go and uh, go back to work for a, for 15 months. Go ahead. Pretty much the job that I left, uh, I'm going back into. Okay. Because my boss, who's a, who's a good mate of mine, who's actually coming tomorrow here for, for two weeks. Okay. Um, who's got a bit of a crossover. I go back on, on the 31st, so he's here five days, then I go back. You know? right. So he, uh, when I, I sort of broke the news to him, he said, oh, well, you know, sorry to hear that, blah, blah, blah. But the good news is, why do you come back to work? And I thought, <laughs> no way, go back to work. Hell, you know, he says, oh, why not? You know, give yourself some some more more funds. I said, well, that makes really good sense. Yeah, so yeah. I thought, okay. Do you know any idea how long your treatment will be? Or I mean, My dad's already had a procedure just when he came back uh, from here, about, I think, March time. Um, he had one little spot on his uh, on his back. that they, they virtually just cut it out of station. Okay. You know, so so I, I think it's it, it's quite simple. Um, but simple in Thailand doesn't mean it's cheap because I could have gone to the government hospital, which is virtually a Thai thing, you know. Yeah. So it's like it's like a, a poor man's poor man's treatment. We right. probably wouldn't be we probably wouldn't be suited for that, you know. Yeah. Um, but if you go private, it's going to cost you a few thousand quid. A few thousand quid, so maybe yeah. so like three thousand bucks or something. Yeah, but it, and it depends on how many how many procedures you will need. This is what happens. I mean, I've got about uh, maybe three, four, five, I mean, six spots that they're going to have to do, you know, and they'll probably do it in one one go because it's no big deal. I mean, they're, they're very, very small. And the, the cancer that I have, is a, it's a non-threatening type of cancer. It's like a, a very slow, slow growing. Unless it gets into your lymph glands, then you're, you're screwed, you know. Right. But, uh, yeah, it, it's uh, that's why I thought I'd go ahead and get it done. What do you, you think will come back? Yeah. Yeah, but I'm going to do things much, much differently. Yeah? How, much how, what, yeah? This is interesting. What What do you see as different next time you come? Uh, well, when I came here initially, I was underfunded, and that won't happen. I mean, I thought I had plenty of money. Your startup costs are heavy. You know? Okay. Your visa is heavy. Your um, condo rental plus two months deposit is heavy. Right. Even though I was living pretty frugal. If you readjusted that, what would be an amount of money you'd want to... Next time you come, what would there be that dollar amount that you would want to have? Well, I know that that what I'm going back to. Now, I mean, I mean I've got my, my my government pension now, as well, which is a big big bonus. Now, that works out at eight hundred and fourteen pounds a month. So you're looking at probably nine hundred and seventy dollars, maybe. I'm well funded, but backup money was dwindling. Okay. So so with my my uh, my pension and my, my salary this time. I reckon I could come back in fifty months' time with about twenty twenty two thousand pounds. You know, so that's a big chunk of change. And right. to be quite true from board and board, yeah. and the boredom comes. The boredom comes from being underfunded as well. So go back to your videos, you know, and people should listen to it and make sure they have enough money to come initially to to kick off. Because it does make a big difference if you're looking at living on a budget, and you can live quite well on a budget if you don't want to do anything. But if you don't do anything. Boredom kicks in, and then once boredom kicks in, you know you could be you could be sitting at home, you know, in the UK with the heating on, as opposed to sitting in, in a condo with the AC on. It's a little bit cheaper here, but it's just, it's the same thing. It's just home from home. You're not doing anything. What are your thoughts about um, what your burn rate might be in order so you're not you know you're doing more things, you're not getting bored? How much more money do you think you would need a month? Uh, well, I think uh, another two or three hundred bucks would probably 
you know, gave me some sort of fun. But the thing is, yeah, I don't drink much anyway, but I'm going to travel. If you would like to learn how I fired my boss and traveled the world for 16 years and how I pay for things, grab a free copy of my ebook. So I'm, I'm going to go, when I come back, I'm going to start off in India, where are we going to go? You know, that was always the need to go to India and do yeah. a bit in India. So I'm going to do a month in India. The guy who actually edits my channel is from Bangalore. So we're, we're good mates. And so uh, I, he came across here last year. So I'm going to visit him. I'm going to go and watch some uh, IPL, which is Indian Premier League cricket, which right. I absolutely love. I'm going to do, I'll probably do Thailand for a, for a bit. Uh, I probably do the islands, uh, even up north. You know, go and see something completely different. Having yeah. done Pattaya and jumped the end now, yeah. so I'm going to be definitely going to do Vietnam. Um, I'm going to do um, Cambodia. I think Laos. I'm definitely going to do Japan. I don't know how you are when you start traveling on your own compared to when you travel with Chung Hoi. It's just having someone there to talk to. You know, if nothing else. Um, but absolutely, if you have someone you're enjoying spending time with, and it's just a bonus on top of that. Yeah, so. it's not the same. You need something to bounce things off of. You need some fun. You need a conversation. And I miss conversation. Yeah. You know, that, that, that's a big thing for me, you know. So, I mean, I've got a, a girlfriend who lives in my complex. So what we'll do is um, when I come back, um, we'll travel together, hopefully. When I was in Ping Lao, um, which is a tourist um, island off of Boho, the big island in the Philippines, mm -hmm. I met this, he was an American. And he was, um, I think he was approaching 80. He had kept his senior care in the U.S. They take it out of your... So security check, and then they put the rest into your account. Um, yeah. And he had kept that because he was going back to the U.S. It seemed like he said every other year for like three or four or five years, and he was getting okay. these back surgeries to help his back. It, he would just fly back to the U.S. every other year or so, schedule this with his surgeon and get the work done. And, of course, the senior care would pay for it. He would just stay with family when he was there. And so he didn't really have that much more expenses when he went home. But I could see, mm. and I could see that might add up. Have you thought about what other expenses you'll have in the UK that you'll have to take care of while you're there? What, what are your thoughts about well, that? Well, I'm going to be living in the hotel for a couple of months until right. I find some place. This happened before. He gave me six weeks. But this time, damn it, I'm going to stay two months. Right. In fact, I'm going to stay maybe longer than two months. I'm going to squeeze out every bit of you know, freebie I can get to right. put money into into the pot, you know? So I reckon okay. I, can, I can save I can save £1,500 per month because I've got my pension and salary, etc. you know? So that's it comes great. to quite a nice, a nice chunk of change, yeah. So Chung and I, we sort of find out what you've found out, and that's it. After we've been in a place a while and we've done everything, we've walked the beach, we've seen yeah, what the yeah. nightlife, so we've been on some tours, we've seen the white sand beaches, we've been on island hopping, we've climbed a mountain yeah. or whatever's, whatever's happening wherever we are. We start going, hey, you know, what else is going around? And we look for whatever, a <laughs> $10, bus, to, ten, $10 mm -hmm. bus to the next city and we go hang somewhere else for, for, you know, whether two weeks or a month or six weeks or two months, yeah, you know. Yeah, what, that's right. And, and that, um, you're kind of confirming what sort of our lifestyle. Um, the only time we've really settled down like for any period of time was uh, during the lockdown. It's eight months or something. But but whenever we have the choice, we we have that feeling that let's let's move on. That's one thing that I thought about when you were telling your story about how you want to travel now. Um, and the other thing you just said that was interesting for me was that you talked about how when you get the hotel room that you're going to try to stay longer this time when we have a reason to do something that we normally <laughs> may not like or whatever yeah. we'll do it because we have some vision that motivates yeah. us in some way and and, and and the whole idea of savings like when you're there you're going to be focused on savings because you know that there's a next step for you i think all of that's part of a plan you've worked out in your head that, so you can have if you will a softer landing the next time i'm not a big spender even here man, i can live on my pension quite easily you know i've a couple of beers playing pool with the guys that was fine you know twice a week so I maybe spend 400 baht each time 20 quid you know yeah, so right. it's nothing weekly it's absolutely nothing but it gives yeah. a bit a bit of a bit of out time i know things have gone up and i'm going to do a video on the difference cost between thailand and the uk by price comparisons because right. uk this uk shop but thailand shop as well really shop it's a, a huge difference in the in um, the thai economy you know little things that have gone up 50 percent 60 percent so you think, wow, that's a big jump, you know. So, so what would you say if you were to summarize it? When you arrived, my monthly burn rate was this, but now I'm I'm burning this much money per month. How would you? I'm pro I'm probably sp sp still spending about uh, about thirty thousand, thirty one thousand, thirty two maximum. You know, right. if I actually do anything. Last week I went down to to Banchan, uh, which is about uh, uh, about fifty miles down the coast. That's where right. I used to work actually pre previously. 
Uh, and we stayed in a, a, a boutique hotel, which is beautiful on the coast. The video coming up on that one. Uh, and that cost us 2000 for the night. Now, compared to 8000 for the for the month here, you think, well, that's expensive. It's expensive, mm-hmm. but you can't live in a condo in life. You need a bit of treat, you know. Yeah. So we did that. We ate in the hotel, beautiful on the beach, fantastic location. So little things like that, you know, when you do a treat, you know, it, it, it comes out like that. So you spend a little bit more that, that week of that month. Yeah. Uh, and when I went up to... Up to um, uh, to Lampang, I did the same. I flew into Chiang Mai because the flight was cheaper. Travelled mm-hmm. down, travelled down uh, an hour and a half by by minibus, uh, and the money I saved on the flights paid for my um, hotel accommodation. Yeah, pretty pretty switched on, you know. I'm yeah. Scottish after all, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm very Scott, frugal. You're, you guys are known for that. I mean, it's. Uh... <laughs> And the Irish are not, which I'm Irish, so we're known to be, <laughs> spend all our money. So <laughs> on beer, on yeah, on, 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 on alcohol, that's it. Yeah. We don't want to fight when yeah. we're when we're sober, right? So we have to drink yeah, the beer. Of course, for... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't. Uh... So when do you fly back to the UK? I uh, fly back on Wednesday, thirty first, which is the thirty first of May. Your viewers are, are always going to get, you know, I mean, we got a lot, a lot of views last time we talked. If they're going to put them onto my channel, go and tell them to watch Fonder's nightmare trip back to UK. It is absolutely hilarious, and it is absolutely true. And I'll tell you why it's true because my dad, an epic adventure. So we'll put we'll put a link to that video in the notes below okay. this, um, okay. and it'll say Gary's uh, dad's trip home. Yeah, yeah, he got himself in all sorts of pickles. Gary, thanks for coming on the channel, um, giving us the update. We hope all all your treatment, and everything goes well, and you know, we'll see you uh, in Thailand in a year or two when you get back. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, we'll catch up again sometime. If you want to know how I think about the two biggest risk of retiring overseas, having enough money and health care, click the video in the upper right hand corner of your screen right now.